Hey everyone, Kitana here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my astro community. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you guys the top five psychic indicators in astrology. And of course, what I mean by this is that if you naturally are clairaudient, clairsentient, um, any of the clairs, I forgot all the names, but if you have like psychic abilities or you always kind of felt like you could predict things, um, we could see that in your birth chart. So in today's video, we're going to figure out and find out if you have some of these placements and how they manifest in your life. So if you want to find out, keep on watching. Now, if you are new, I'd love to have you a part of my astro community. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you want your own personal reading, go to my website, theastrokit.com. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is the moon in your birth chart. Now, we all know the moon is a very intuitive planet. It represents this sense of intuition, the sense of kind of connection with your spiritual side. So, of course, you might have psychic abilities if you have a water moon. So, of course, if you have a Pisces moon, oh my god, I know so many Pisces moons that are like borderline psychic. Um, if you're a Scorpio moon or if you're a Cancer moon. And this really is because you are naturally very intuitive and you can just feel things. Like you just feel the subtle energies around you and you can kind of predict based on that like you can kind of feel things before they happen and also if your moon regardless of the sign is in the fourth house eighth house or twelfth house so if you have moon in any of the water houses you might experience psychic abilities as well okay so the second thing i'm going to talk about is the presence of neptune in your chart now of course neptune is the co-ruler for pisces and neptune is like the spiritual planet right it is the planet to look at if we want to look at psychic abilities and so of course if you have neptune in your first house if you have neptune in your third house or if you have neptune in your eighth house or 12th house and how this really manifests in your life for example neptune in the first naturally you kind of have um almost like this way of like feeling the energies around you because first house is the house of identity so naturally you just feel very connected to a divine spirit that's not like necessarily like visible and then also third house you might have like claire what do you call it claire audience like you might hear things or you might write things or um anything having to do with communication you can kind of communicate maybe with spirits or something like that i don't know comment down below if you have these placements and you relate to that um and this also might manifest as you kind of knowing what people are thinking i mean not really literally but like you can kind of finish people's sentences or you kind of say what everyone is thinking um and then if you have neptune in the eighth house you're very tapped into occult knowledge you're tapped into the underside of life you're tapped into like this subconscious energy um so you can kind of grab like information from like this hidden energy that no one else sees because you have such a powerful spiritual planets in your house of psychology your house of subconscious occult knowledge and then of course lastly neptune in the 12th this is such like a psychic placement because you have a definitely spiritual connection to the divine and you might have especially a spiritual spiritual connection or psychic connection through your dreams you might have prophetic dreams you might have dreams that tell the future so you really have to pay attention to your dreams if you have neptune in the 12th okay so the third thing i'm going to talk about is mercury um now of course mercury is the planet of communication it's the planet of logic um so if you have mercury in the eighth or the 12th house um i really feel like this represents like a connection or communication with the intangible the connection with like this unseen energy around you um especially oh my god mercury in the 12th house people comment down below because every mercury in the 12th house person i met i feel like has some type of clair audience sentience whatever um where you can communicate with the divine um very easily maybe through meditation or dreams you can just communicate with the spirit world or get messages from the spirit world very easily with mercury in the 12th and then with mercury in the eighth i think it manifests as you just like knowing things and you just know like secrets or you know things that other people don't know or a lot of people tell you their secrets or you can just guess people's secrets um it has to do a lot with communication and like secrets or what's hidden so mercury in the eighth tell me down below if you have that power um or what abilities come with this placement okay so the fourth thing i'm going to talk about is the sun now if you have the sun the, pl the planet of identity in the eighth house or the twelfth house then you might have have some psychic abilities um sun in the eighth house to me really it might manifest sort of like as a scorpio energy like that's kind of like scorpio <laughs> even if you're not a scorpio sun you might have like this scorpio energy because you have a uh, sun in the eighth um so you might just be inclined to know about a lot of occult topics maybe you know a lot about like psychic 
topics or you just kind of know things that are hidden you know secrets um or you're just very inclined to align with like the secrets of life or the deeper meanings of life and you're also somebody who's very in tune with psychology so you're very interested in like how the mind works um and this might manifest as you kind of having these psychic abilities with your mind like you can predict things maybe or you just really sense the subtle energies of your mental process and can predict on that. I don't know if that makes sense, but Sun in the 8th, you can tell me better than I can explain it. So Sun in the 8th, comment down below, tell me if you have this placement. And then of course, Sun in the 12th, 12th house is the house of spirituality. Um, so if you have it in the 12th house, you're naturally very interested in spirituality. Um, you feel most connected when you're like dreaming or when you're like meditating. Whenever you're isolated, um, you might naturally isolate yourself a lot, a lot with Sun in the 12th. Um, but whenever you're isolated, Isolated, you kind of feel connected to the divine you feel like you can feel things or sense things before they happen um so yeah comment down below if you have sun in the 12th and you can kind of sense things or predict things or you feel connected to the divine when you're like isolated okay so the fifth and final thing i'm going to talk about is pluto of course and pluto is a planet that is definitely i feel like it's about psychology it really is associated with scorpio um and scorpio energy eighth house energy pluto energy is all about what's hidden it's all about what's in the subconscious it's all about the intangible and when it comes to be, being psychic or clairaudient or sentient it's about like experience things we can't see or normal people muggles <laughs> why did i say muggles muggles can't see so with pluto in the first house you might experience some psychic abilities you might have the ability to really sense people's energies and predict what they're going to do next if that makes sense like you can really sense the energies of a crowd um pluto in the fourth of course maybe you inherited some psychic abilities from your ancestors um but overall pluto in the fourth is very intuitive and then pluto in the eighth of course you're very interested in occult knowledges um knowledge it, you're interested in occult knowledge um you're interested in what's hidden what's not seen you're interested in the subconscious mind so naturally you're very intuitive when it comes to the unseen um and then of course pluto and the 12th hands down that's very like indicative of like psychic abilities 12th house is already like this connection to the divine connection to the intangible connection to the source i guess so if you have pluto here you're naturally very intuitive you can sense like i said this subtle energy around you um and really kind of get messages based on that you might get messages in dreams messages through meditation um either way pluto in the 12th really predicts that so yeah if you have pluto in the first fourth eighth or 12th comment down below your experience with that tell me what like psychic abilities you have based on that so of course i really want to know your guys experience with like psychic abilities and these placements so if you have these placements comment down below i know i have a few of these and i can relate to like what i said about them but i really want to know your experience so tell me down below if you want your own reading go to my website theastrokits.com subscribe if you learned something new give it a thumbs up if you like this video and i'll see you in my next one